I'm just at the stage of grouting now after having tiled the the two walls. Um, a lot of thought has gone into the spacing of these tiles uh, on this wall. Um, sort of starting from the middle, either a whole tile or a half a tile in the middle, and then uh, seeing what what cuts are at the at the sides. You kind of have to um, fill around with the with with what will look uh, best at the end. Uh, and, and where all these cuts come in relation to the bottom of the window, the top of the shower tray, the floor, uh, the top of the window and the ceiling. You don't want to end up with tiny little skinny bits anywhere. So you, you, you sort of have to move the tiles up and down to to accommodate uh, all, those, uh, all those areas where you might get cut tiles. Uh, the brick pond carries on through from one wall to another. <clears throat> if you've got a, a wide tile on one wall, then you have a smaller tile on the other, uh, rather than, than having a wide tile and then a full tile and then a and then a cut. It just doesn't look right. Um, the um, you really want to get your walls as flat as possible if you're getting a plaster or anybody to set your walls out get them to do it as flat so that there are no no humps or bumps or, or shallow areas don't worry about it being smooth you want it flat because these these white big um, tiles uh, there's there's no movement you can't flex the tiles so uh, as flat as possible makes tiling uh, a lot easier. I did have a bit of a hollow down here which I've had to pack out with adhesive. Uh, it doesn't make for easy working. When you're using big <coughs> big flat tiles uh, it's good to use these wedges, this wedge system which are these little clips that slip behind the tile uh, so you put your tile on and then you slide these clips in then you put your next tile on uh, then you put another so you put a few tiles on with these with these clips everywhere and then these wedges uh, just just slip in this hole and then you can squeeze them and it'll bring those two points level and then when you do it on other places you know once, once you started uh, doing this all over the place uh, it brings the edges really nicely flat especially with these ceramic tiles which are very very uh, square edged and the dimensions are absolutely precise so you notice uh, if there's any if there's any difference in in level uh, not easy to work with these tiles. They're, they're great, they're hard wearing, uh, easy to clean, but uh, they're a bugger to work with. Um, I think that's uh, just about it. I'll uh, show a little bit of a clip of the of the shower tray uh, when I finish the grouting. Oh, with grouting, uh, when, you, when you start getting um, hollows behind the tile where you've had to pull them out because the wall's not flat, I like to go in with a, a fairly fairly loose mix of grout first, so I go over the whole area and, and really push it in. Uh, and then when I've done that, go back over with a, a slightly firmer mix, which uh, pushes that, that soft mix back in and um, packs the gap nice and full with, with grout. You'll be amazed um, at how much how much grout will disappear in an area where you've gone over it and you think it's okay in fact you just saw there Let's see if I can get it to yeah I think it's not doing it now but sometimes you can you can sort of suck out the grout and you can see that there's actually a big hollow behind uh, so I like to go over it with um, a thin mix first and then over a slightly thicker mix 
uh, push it all in and you'll be amazed how much that uh, disappears. Uh, you might even have to go over it with a, uh, a third a third go uh, just to get the just to get the uh, grout nice and flush nice and flush with the with the surface uh, rather than rather than having too big a hollow in the in the grout line. Yeah, this is all, I don't know if you can see that, well, they're picking up really well, but it's, it's really quite, quite flush with the tiles, rather than having a, a hollow. But it takes quite a lot of grout, and, and a two, you know, two, three times going over, maybe, uh, just to get it right. Okay, cheers.